Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video today and welcome back to Road to the Premier of Stevenage episode 2. Um, a few of you have put your comments forward um, from the first episode, thank you uh, ever so much for putting your comments forward. Um, I have got a keeper that someone told me to look at and try and assign which is Harry Lewis. So I will try and assign him in this episode, but guys, a long way to go, so a lot more episodes to come. Um, just another update, because I do Premier League predictions and Championship and League 1 and 2 predictions all on this channel. Um, international week, there is no Championship or Premier League. So what will happen is, there will be two episodes of this um, to fill in for that. But set from that, probably one to two episodes a week. Um, how many episodes would you like to see this a week? Please feel free to put it down in the comments below. But guys, anyway, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and let's go. So we've got Bradford coming up in the first game of this episode. Ain't doing too bad in the league, sitting seventh. You know, still early. Still a lot more games to come as well. Let's go search for Harry Lewis before we get down to our first game. Harry Lewis, 21 Southampton. Um, let's shorten him on the transfer hub and let's get a quick scout on him so I know what he's like and then try to bring him into the club. I won't try and loan him or possibly buy him just yet. I need to know what his wages are before I can start uh, moving stuff around like that. Give the squad a big change up again. Still in the early stages of the uh, season, so see how we go. Bradford. Uh, some people have been telling me that they've been the, uh, be a top club this season. Table saying other things, but obviously in this series and in this season, there's still a long way to go. So, you know, let's see how this game goes. Losing 2 0. Ah, uh, dang great. But, uh, as I said, a top side and lead to what people have been saying so I'll take that defeat. Mansfield next up that would be an interesting game. Good 
Okay, so one of the puzzles I was prepared to let go, the moon's broken down if you didn't see that. I don't know if we can get that keeper. Game number two. Oh no, I don't want to play it. See how this one goes. Lost two one to Mansfield. Ah, could they still have a point in that round in that game? Burnley, next round of the EFL Cup. How do you see this one going? There's so many, so many people aren't sure about this club, it's just trying to fit them all in. Might put a few players in training ahead of the next day game, which is um, Macclesfield. Losing 3 2. This episode ain't going as well as planned. Um, let's try and get things back to winning ways against uh, Macclesfield. I think I'm gonna have to switch the keepers. Um, Carter. Just gonna make them two changes for the next game, uh, Macclesfield desperately need a point or three points to try and pick our spirits back up after losing the last two games. Let's go down to that 15th in the league, five points. Um, I can't. Okay, my press conference, I forgot about this bit. If you haven't seen this bit, this is what the press conference looks like in uh, FIFA 20. Nearly forgot the game I was playing then as well.
All you can do in a game is uh, focus on playing well. Playing well and trying your best. I'm thinking of going and looking at the Brighton uh, young players, start looking around the Premier League. That's why I want to keep, um, you know, a lot of my, you know, my team sort of like in the young Premier League age, come with a bit more experience. Hopefully, with these lower leagues, then while we do if I went and got out a. Um, a league one or two player. So that's why I want to keep my expertise. I'll play the game first and then we'll go over it. Two nil win. Yes, get in there. Oh, deadline down already. Oh, okay, I wasn't expecting that. Um, so if we do buy anyone, it's going to have to be quick. Uh, Premier I think he could be a great help as well. Being a um, centre mid. That's two out bright and um City, which gotta be a big ask. Let's see how many players we can sign on deadline day. Be good if we could get what one, two, three over the line. Right, that's one we can't get. This one we might be able to get. <laughs> so we've had two, what, that we can't get for whatever reasons, contracts and stuff like that. Um, fair enough, but let's see what we can get over the line and then we take it from there. I'm trying to get every player on two years if we can. So, you know, if I do get up to League One, then they could possibly help with League One as well before going up to the Championship and make it a lot harder for um, obviously the team 
but then that way getting to League One I could start sort of working towards the championship with the teams that come down and try and nick their players as well as everything else. Brighton are really wanting more money for this player than what I wanted to pay. Don't forget we've not got a big rage budget either, so. so let's have that one's over the line and um, let's try and get another one over the line and then um, possibly uh, try and see if we can get these two city. Uh, players over the line. If I have two city, um, you know, under 19, 23 players, I'm quite happy with that going forward into the new uh, season that we're already in. Um, but these will probably only go with a one year contract because of their wage, and I think City will want them back after a year to see what they do with their youth. So. Let's try one. See if they're happy with one. If they if they want me to go to, then I'll go to. I'll, I'll be more than happy to. It's happy with the one year. A week for an under 19. We go 50 50 if you sit external coming in for another part of yours as well. If we could do 50 50 on both, then on the odd, we'll be doing 100 for a player, but we're only doing it with 50 50, which is, you know, fair enough. You know, we're not a big club. Um, still a long way to go, we've still got to try and throw a game for this part, just want to have a look at our wage um, budget. 19. Uh, yeah, let's try and get this other one over the line. No, we can't go out. Okay, so we've got two on transfer deadline day. Hopefully, there'll be no hiccup with, this, with these two. Both rejected. Well, that's a bit of an understatement. Let's let's try and um. Right, let's go into League One then. Don't think we've got no other choice. League One. Uh, possibly even might look at League Two. Um. Possibly look at Will Buckley. Don't get always under 23 is a part of the first team as well. So these ain't going to be that easy to get hold of either. Um,
Let's try and get his three bolting pads at least over the line. So I can't get no Bolton pads. Um, let's go and look at. I'm trying to actually think of a club that ain't in trouble. I know Bolton's not anymore, but still, when this game was made, they probably were. Fair enough for FIFA to put Barry um, in this game as well. Obviously, being expelled from the Football League. Most probably looking like now because of the um, they've been you know they're not allowed to come back into the football league. Looks like I might have to go uh, semi-pro conference somewhere around there. Coventry ain't too bad, but they could be in trouble. Gen Itridge, come on, come on Itridge, got let me one or two of your players. Let's see if we can get these two over the line. If not, I'll probably go um, for the next six, seven months without buying any pads whatsoever, without taking anyone in. But let's see how this one goes. Okay, so a two year um, loan deal ain't on the table, it's either a short term or one year. I'll take it for a year if I can. Considering I'm trying really hard to get pads, I didn't realize it's dead by day risk close. I'm gonna go 60 40, probably with them both. As I said, City is a bit of a different story, they get paid a lot more money than what players do in lower league, so uh, that's one over the line. Hopefully, here comes some club. This is the other one. Okay, I might have to buy this bar. Um, yeah, again, for whatever reason, I'm not allowed to loan him. But yeah, buying an Itridge centre back to come into League 2 will make us stronger for the uh, rest of the season. So let's see how this one goes. Oh yeah, because I got set to bid for a pound, didn't I? Come on, Fifi, you should have done a bit better than that. Um, Consider I know nothing about him, go two million. Hopefully, we right accept.
Yeah, we got him as well. Two millions. So, two Ittrich players coming in. Keep going past transfer hub. <laughs> right now's the now's the uh, tough part. Try and get him to sign for the club, guys. As always, if you're enjoying this episode, please feel free to give it a big fat thumbs up. And who would you like to see me bring in the next window, which would hopefully be in about five to six episodes it might be even closer depends how we're doing for time and obviously what's coming up on my channel um do i i think it's gonna be crucial to our club i think it'd be one of the starting 11 as well quite quite a lot of the time. In a way the plan never talks. in 22 so let's offer him a five-year deal um, let's actually make him feel part of the club as well hopefully he accepts it yep he's accepted that so now it's just doing the wage bit I don't think he's going to want to get out doors because of the league we're in, but I'll propose one anyway. Um, a million. Just in case you don't know what a uh, uh, get out clause means, it means a club has to pay whatever they want to pay for the part plus a million on top to buy out his contract. Okay, so I for... I can't accept that. Getting no more players this window, I might as well accept that and get him in. Obviously, we've got the loan one that still might come in, but there you go. Our first signing as Stephen Inch manager. Um, get him in the squad. So we've got the low knee as well. That's another good thing. So two new players on transfer deadline day and finally both coming from the same club. So hopefully that link up play will be okay as well. Um, well let's try and get them both in the squad. Winterburn.
my sort of change I'm gonna make for the next game. One more play, one more card training. No, because I've got a short enough team as it is. Fantastic, and ain't they injury? Probably do two more games this episode, um, that make it up to nine. And uh, I don't think the internet next international waits too far away either, so there will be a lot of episodes coming up. Um, and don't forget, we've got Christmas period as well, and we've got all that to deal with. And this series, I will try and uh, make it run out throughout the summer. Um, Euro 2020 um, predictions I'll be doing but then obviously this will take over as well so you we really should complete it if not I either get sacked or I'll probably when FIFA 21 comes out I will do it again um, possibly with another club as well but as I said it's all up to you whether you enjoy it or not our profits down We've just got a wage budget, no transfer budget now, we've blown that. Cheltenham Town, my next game is. Paul Taylor wants to play, so let's make him play. Uh, is he what position does he play? Yeah, I thought it was. One all, not a bad result. Ninth in the table, seven games. So for this episode, I'm, I've run up to ten games, and then I'll finish the episode there. That way, you, you've seen, you know, quite a few games. You've seen me sign the players. You've seen me do quite a lot.
Carlo next stop. Definitely need to win this one. Two two, not good enough. Definitely change out for the next game. I think the only trouble is doing it for a team this size is um try and keep everyone fit uh, fit and happy and you know stuff like that. I'm trying to do it so everyone's full of energy going um into the games. And what you don't want to do also is overwork them. Northampton Town, a definite must win game this one. Made a few changes, my players are fit, so hopefully we should win this one. 2-1, get in there. Forest screen, next up. And this will be my last game for this episode. Nil lost and not the best way to start, not the best way to finish off an episode. But guys, anyway, I'm gonna bring this video to an end. Guys, you know what to do give us to our big platform if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.